Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today we want to get a bit progress in our design challenge. So let's get started. One more thing, it seems that this icon is a bit pushed to the left, a bit too much, I think. But I think I will surround this icon here with a padding. And this padding should have, let's for example, 12. And you can see all of it's getting spread. But I think that is a bit too much. So we make only left, let's say, maybe six. Okay. So we managed that. We have now the icons. It looks pretty good, at least. So, and now one more thing. We want to have that the surroundings fit perfectly fine. So there is getting a bit interesting because as you can see, we have a small gap between the border and the surrounding, right? And for that, the input decoration gives us the opportunity of is dense. We say true here. And as you see, it's getting narrowed down. So there is no spacing in between. Cool. And with that, we are looking already pretty good, I think. So, but we see we have three widgets and all of these widgets have different icons, right? So we don't want to have always the same icon. And we have here now our custom form field. And what we want to create is a final icon that you can give inside and we call it icon complaints because we are in a final uh, in a stateless widget so we can't change that anymore and now we have to create a constructor and down here instead of using this i will use the icon i will take that without and now if we go there where we use that custom form field so for that i go up here to the name command b and i go inside of the form container widget we have now here the opportunity to give an icon that we specify up here. So icon, we give the same for now, and the last icon that we give here. And instead of mail, the last two are locks. We want to have them nicely secure with a lock. Okay, so we did that. That is nice. But also we know that the other two bottom custom form fields should be obscurified, right? So we have to also provide a version of obscured text and we say true. And it complains now because we didn't create it that variable yet in this custom form field widget. So inside here, we add again, a final variable. We call it, it is a Boolean obscured text. We add that here. And inside of this now, we can use that obscured text so inside of here, we can use that obscure text inside of our text field, right? Because the text field has this obscure text. And now it's breaking because this one is, is necessary. And what I do now is I give it an optional parameter. So if this is not set from the level above, we will set it always to false. So, and inside here, we set it twice to true. So this one will be visible. And if we do the same thing here, let's get obscurified. So now we have our inputs. I think they are looking already pretty good. Let's have a look into our, so have a look into our preview. And as you see, it looks already pretty close to it. Of course, there is no border. We can improve that also. So, and also there is an elevation surrounding the whole thing. Hmm. So how do we get an elevation to that form widget? Because the text field itself don't provides us a possibility in the decoration of the uh, box shadow, right? There's no shadow, there's no nothing. So we have to do something. We have to wrap. We did that the last time already. We wrap the text field in a material container. And inside here, we have the elevation immediately and can use that. And as you can see now, course, the material is a box. So for that, we have now to say the border radius, border radius circular is 30 pixels. And as you can see, the elevation took place. Now we have also a bit that foreground pressing. So it looks not that it is flat on the ground. And last but not least, we want to get rid of the border surrounding it, right? Inside of the input decoration, we have the border here. And what we can do is the border side color, colors dot transparent. And with that, the border should be gone. So, and as you see, the normal uh, things have still some border surrounding it, right? So it is a black border, it's very small, but there, it is there. So for that, we have to change the enabled border. 
And also it takes an outline border, input border. But what we need to do is to give it a border side with the color colors transparent. And of course we have to once more say that the border radius, border radius dot circular, 30 pixels. Voila. So now we don't have any border anymore surrounding it. Okay, and the same thing is for the highlighted. I will keep the blue one for now, but if you don't like the blue border, we have also the focused border. And the focus border is exactly what it says. It is the blue border. And the error border is if you have any errors in the form validation. Okay, but for now, I think we are pretty good with that um, solution for now. Um, I keep it as a dummy for that. Uh, if you want to have that completely built up, I would suggest you to put it in the comments so that I know, then we can also create here a whole form for it. And for now, we go back to our form container widget. And there we have now the three forms that should be done. And if we go to a home screen, there's just one last bit left, the container here. And that container is our button, right? So we want to have a raised button. It has a child, which is a text where just registers inside. And because it's a button, we want to press it sooner or later. So I create already an on pressed. And as you see, because we have stretched the whole column and then we just paddinged out the whole thing, it already immediately aligns perfectly with our border, uh, with our box up there. And that is already pretty impressive. So now what we want to do is we want to give that raise button an elevation, of course, because elevations are great. And we want to hmm, want to change the color, of course, right? So let's change the color of the text for now. Um, so if we want to change the color, we go inside of the raise box button and say color zero x full opaque six one a seven d. And with that, we see the thing getting colored, which is nice. And the text is already correct. And now we just need borders, um, again, the borders. And a raised button also has the possibility of a shape. So maybe this one gives us already the rounded rectangle border. And if I save now with a bit of luck, nope. Ah, we have to specify the border radius. The border radius circular, we give it 30. It's rounded. All right. So that's it. All right, very well. We did an amazing job together today. As you can see, we finished that whole screen today together and we have now the possibility to um, create the re register. We have the logo created. We separated out some widgets. We created our first free um, own widget stateless and we created our button that we can click now whenever we want. And we can use that design for our next and future projects. So if you have more information or maybe designs that I should replicate, please let me know. Put them down in the comments or write me on Twitter. It would be amazing. Leave a like for me. Share this video whenever you like. And have a great weekend. See ya.